Hi readers, I am super excited to be here with you today. This is Miss DeMonte and I would love to introduce you to something called some book speed dating. Now, I didn't make up this idea. I got this idea from other librarians who must have gotten this idea from something that actually exists in the world. Uh, as you can see in that photo, people actually do something called speed dating. It's a quick it's a nice easy way to like meet a whole bunch of new people in an evening and make a connection maybe with someone new so people will just sit down next to a person or across from a person and you might have questions that are given to you by the moderators or you might have your own questions and you get just a few minutes with each of these dates and before you know it your date is over and you take some notes on your date and you move on to the next date and hopefully by the end of the night you've met someone that you want to see again maybe even with someone you want to start a relationship with book speed dating is totally just like that um, except for we're not going to do it with people we're going to do it with books so let me show you how that's going to go the first thing you need to do is get a copy of your dating record you want to take notes on your dates so you'll be receiving this document to make a copy of. When you click it, just go ahead and make a copy and it's going to create a document just for you. Your document tells you how to do things, but I'm just going to show you how. And we're going to have four rounds today. So you have four note-taking spots. And some of you might find, um, like real, real speed dating, that you know your date's a dud and maybe within the time that you have for round one, you can go um, back to the dating pool and check out another date. So I put a few extra spaces for other dates. So after your date, you're going to have a few minutes to come in and take your notes for each round. You'll note the genre, the title, and the author. And you can write a little note about how the date went. So that space will expand to have as much room as you need to. And then I want you to rate your date on a scale of one to five cupids. So you can just delete those cupids if you want to give it a four or a three, just like that. So you'll enter your first date and each date will be a room full of books. You'll have anywhere between 10 and 12 books to choose from. And this is like the best part about it, I think, is you are being actually asked to judge a book by its cover, right? We often pick people we like by the way they look. So start there. <clears throat> Once you find a book that like hooks you, the one, the title that or cover that looks most interesting, just go ahead and click on it. Most of your books are going to take you to a web page that looks like this, and it will have different ways for you to get to know the book. So one of the ways you might choose to get to know your book or your date a little bit better is by clicking on audio excerpt. So this will actually have something that you can play. So you go ahead and play. If you don't want to do that or you finish your audio excerpt and you want to do more, some of the books will have a video book trailer. Click that and you'll be able to watch it. I think for me, the best way to get to know a book is by previewing it. So I just went to that Google preview button and I get the first however many pages of the book that the publisher wanted to give. Okay, and then I can start reading the book. And that might be for you the best way to get to know the book. So you're going to have a few minutes to get to know your date. And when your teacher tells you or you hear the bell, then it will be time to come back to your notes and take a few notes on how that date went. If you find right away that the date's not going well, like I said, go back to your room and choose another book to get to know a little bit better. All right, you guys, I hope you have fun. I hope you make a connection or two or three or four at the end of the book speed dating. You might have a list of books that you want to read across this year. And that, my friends, is the goal. All right. Take care, guys.